Welcome, 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 career management class. And I, I saw that uh, Jamani was so excited about the video. He said, go ahead, Ms. Hargrave, go ahead, Ms. Hargrave. So that's exactly what I did. I went ahead, Ms. Hargrave. I was not excited, Ms. Hargrave. Yes, yeah, she said, go ahead, Ms. Hargrave. Ms. Hargrave, I was not yes, excited. Yes, you were, y'all were glad that I showed that video. I already got a warning you about to play this. Sound video. old. So uh, Jacob, uh sound could be old, it don't matter. I'ma show I'm a, I'm gonna show y'all uh stuff that's old, that's new because it's still relevant. And I just want y'all to be happy. <laughs> my, my sister warned my sister warned me if you're gonna play a video today. <laughs> now, and Kitty tell me how long this song is. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Um, but again, happy Wednesday, everybody. If y'all will go and do the attendance quiz, it's in quizzes. Everybody go to quizzes in Canvas. So go to, I'm gonna put it because I know we have a couple uh new people. Um, go to and give me just a moment. Go to quizzes in Canvas. And it will say attendance. Hopefully it will work correctly. Attendance quiz, 930. If you are having any issues with finding it. You put it in the right class? Uh, yeah, I believe I did. Don't you start me. <laughs> don't you start. Don't you start. Let me send out an email and I'll be right back with y'all in just a few minutes. And also, how many of you, y'all put it in the chat box, how many of you have got all your information to start your resumes? I need to know that right now. So please let me know. I did my earring hook. I thought I had my, my earring hook. So please let me know who has the information for their resumes. And if you don't have it, I need y'all to get it like ASAP. The information, Kenny, you were supposed to have gotten was to put together like your education, any work experience, um, uh, like work experience, if you work somewhere, if you have not worked anywhere, but what do you like to do? Uh, what are your accomplishments? Are you the captain of the football team? or? something or any so let me know we need so we want to know that so we can put your accomplishments down as far as uh maybe you want to award well, if you if any of y'all have worked okay but it's okay tell me about your education so i'm, I'm gonna go back and i'm gonna show y'all what he wants on there because i really need y'all to do that because i've got the resume paper um i had them to order me the resume paper and i want us to be able to have professional resumes because i want to be able to show everybody because we're probably the only ones in the school that's doing this and i want y'all i want i want them to know hey i got some some students they are on fire so i want y'all guys uh, to get the information i'll show you the powerpoint again I, i'll just let you look at it real quick uh in just a few minutes because i want to make sure that y'all got your information
So make sure y'all doing the attendance quiz. I'll give y'all about another minute too, and then we'll come back together. I'm trying to find something. So just go and do what you're doing. I'm here looking at you. And then we are, I'll show you the PowerPoint that um, he sent. I, I think I've already shown it to you, but I'm going to show it again uh, so y'all can make sure y'all got the correct information that you're supposed to have. Okay, so has everybody done? Let me look and see, make sure that everybody on here has done the attendance quiz. I want to make sure that everybody is on the right track because a lot of you will come on, and I, I'm so glad you come on, but you won't do the attendance quiz, and that is a requirement. So give me a minute. Okay, so let me, give me a minute. Let's see. See if y'all have done that attendance quiz for me and I can mark that off. And then we get to the other stuff. I don't know what to do. And I may have a speaker tomorrow. I'm not sure if I schedule for this class. If I have not scheduled for this class, then we'll continue to what we're doing. If I have scheduled it for this class, excuse me, then we'll have to pick up on Monday with something because I have forgot that I had. So let me see what my people have done. Okay, okay. Right with you.
right now let me check and see who is on here okay i'm gonna show y'all everybody pretty much knows i think jacob is our newest member our newest <laughs> family member so jacob are you looking at my screen right now are you looking at i'm gonna show you what i'm doing <laughs> all right check this out so jacob i'm gonna show you let me grab my car yeah 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 and I'm gonna check up on somebody real quick because I don't think. Hold on. Okay. So what you do is you go right here where it says quizzes. Just click on it, and eventually it'll open up. It's slow. Then you just scroll down to whatever day we're on. So the day is the thirtieth. So click right there, and then it'll. Uh, my button. I don't know if it's the same for y'all, but my button says preview. I just, I just did that. Okay. Okay. So you so you, have you done it? Cause it, okay, I'm gonna go back and look. Uh, cause it said that you didn't. I want to make sure. Cause I don't know why some of my people, and not I'm not picking on you. Cause I tell all my students, um, they they'll come they'll come to class and they won't do the attendance, or they'll do the attendance and they won't come to class. I got one I'm getting ready to get right now. Cause I don't document the time. I don't know what issue is with this person. Guys, y'all know that y'all when y'all are here. You are my student. You are my you are my child. Even when you're not here, uh, I treat you just like I treat my own child. I'm not sweet all the time with her. I may not be as sweet as you think I should be with you, but I I love you and I want you to be your best and I want you to do your best. I want you to focus, pay attention, and do what you need to do. Some of you guys are not doing it. Why I don't know, but let me do my role. I like to do a paper copy, and then I also look at the tennis quiz, so I do a number of things. Hi, Miss Jeffries, how are you? Okay, I am so glad, and look, Ayana, I'm gonna I'm call you. Is it okay if I call you after class? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you because I like to talk to my students. So I want to get. I was thinking about calling you yesterday, but I said, "Nah, I'll wait till tomorrow." But I'm gonna call you, uh, Alfonso, Andrea, Andrea. Did you do the attendance quiz? Ayana, go do the. You did it. Okay, Ayana, go do the attendance quiz, please. Let me make sure I got everybody, and I'm gonna call out so I can make sure. Did I did not overlook somebody? Um, got my got my got my guy Jacob. Got I know I got Jamani, Jamani, Kenny, uh, Nathan, Juan. Uh, those are all y'all are my regulars. Y'all y'all show up. Jamani show up and show out. No, he don't. He ain't here. He ain't come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I need to see you here every day if possible. Okay. Okay. Joseph is not here. Uh, Isaiah is not here. David, Marvin, Marvin. I thought I saw Marvin. If I did, Marvin, no Marvin, no Marvin, no Marvin, no Marvin today. Tristan just popped up. Hey, Tristan. <laughs> hey, Tristan, go do the tennis quiz. Okay, this is what I have. Uh, William, go do the attendance quiz. Ayana, go do the attendance quiz. Nazaya, go do the attendance quiz. Shamel, go do the attendance quiz. If y'all have already done it, I will go back and check. Um, Adriana, have you got on yet? Adriana, go do the tennis quiz if you have not done it. Okay, thank you, Shamel. Andrea, go do the tennis quiz if you have not done it. Okay, 
All right. You better watch that tone, Andrea. You better watch that tone. Uh, Trish, she go do the attendance quiz. All right, all right. I am glad to see everybody here. I almost got a full house. And uh, I am glad. Guys, remember, it is so very important that you come to class every day. I know some days, and I'm just going to be honest with you because I am just like you. Some days we are not feeling class. But it's so very important that we show up. Come when you don't feel like it because I can almost guarantee you before you leave, you'll feel better when you leave than when you first arrived. Uh, because you are first, you, you are here with one of the most, one of the greatest teachers around. Because we have great teachers all over. But uh, I want to make sure, you know, that I give you the best that I can give you. Uh, we are all in this together. Oh, that's okay, Kenny. We are all in this together. Not every day is a good day. Sometimes technology be acting up, and that's okay. If we don't understand something, that's why I'm here. You can email me anytime. I'll we'll get on Google Meets. I'll email you. I'll call you. You'll call me. So I am here for you. There's no excuse that you guys can't come and 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 put forth your best effort because you have a teacher who is here for you. So I want y'all to get out of that negativity. I don't want to do what I can't. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to mess around. Life is going to pass you by. And you're still going to be in the same spot, going nowhere. You have to get through some hard times. You have to just keep motivating, your, motivating yourself and keep doing it. Y'all see, I broke a, 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 a nail yesterday. I got to get my nail fixed today. My nail got to go get fixed, hopefully. So uh, we have been, hey, David. David, I'm so glad you came. Hey, David. David, make sure you show up to class every day. Miss Harger. Yes. When you was, when you said some of the, some of the best teachers around, I thought you was talking about yourself. I was like, wow, she humble. <laughs> yeah, talk about me, talk about me. Yeah. No, but no, you know, no, no, we have some great teachers around. I just be messing with y'all, but I do, you know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not conceited or anything like that. And I, I am still learning and I want to still learn. I want to always be learning because if you stop learning, man, you know, you don't know, nobody knows everything. I'm not perfect in anything I do. Y'all can tell that sometimes I'll put stuff up on canvas. Y'all be like, Miss Hargrave, where is it at? I'll be like, well, I'll put it up there. I'll, Jamani always mess with me about the tennis quiz because I put the tennis quiz sometimes in somebody else's class. Or sometimes I'll put stuff up and it doesn't work. It's okay. We're all learning. And we're going to grow together. But I want to make sure that y'all guys show up. Y'all need to show up. Just show up. Come on. Um, if you have not, and I'm going to remind you in a minute, if y'all had not done that attendance quiz, y'all better get it. David, I'm glad you joining me. David, I have been missing you. You hear me, David? David, David do you hear me? I do. All right. You better start coming to class. I love y'all. Y'all gonna start coming to class. All right. I'm going to show you something that Mr. Tunjo about a week ago showed y'all about resumes. Guys, we are going to build our resumes. If you don't know what a resume is, I'll show you. But I've got some paper in. I had them to order me some nice, fancy, professional paper that they use for resumes. And you're gonna have your own resume. When you come back to class, I'm going to uh, put it in a um, pro protector, a little folder that you can keep it in so it doesn't get messed up. So when you go to get your jobs uh, at McDonald's, Bojangles, at the sports store, wherever, you'll go in with a resume. And they're gonna be like, wow, a high school student has a resume? Man, you're going to be the bomb. Also, I want to let you know that they're going to have career chats. Again, they didn't have it last week. And I'm going to tell you about career chats in a minute. But let me tell you about the resume before I get off track. Uh, let me pull up what Mr. Tundra has sent. And I'll be right with y'all. I'm going to show y'all. So y'all can kind of know what you need to put for your resume. Some of you have already got it together. And that's, and that's good. Some of you don't. And that's okay because we're going to get it. Don't get discouraged when you don't have something, but just if you know you don't have it, get it. 
Don't be messing around. Say, okay, I didn't do it, but I, I'm going to do it now, Miss Hargrave. Don't just not do it. Let me see if I can pull up. Go down. I might have him to send it to me again, but I know he sent it to me. Okay, I'm gonna present something. Okay, y'all tell me if you can't see it, tell me say I can't see it. Somebody just um you because when I'm on my presentation screen, I can't look back at the chat, so I don't know what's going on. Can everybody see this? Somebody say me yes or no. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are gonna be doing a resume, and the information that I need for y'all to get. So you want to make sure that your resume stings, that it stings, that it stands out, that you talk about you, identify your strengths, no negatives. I don't want anything negative about yourself, what you feel you don't like about, I don't want to know that because I want you to focus on the positive uh, of what you like about yourself. So G means go for it. So um, usually when you go to an interview and you give them your resume, they look at it the minimum 15 to 20 seconds the maximum 45 seconds so that means they really don't look at it a minute if you were to give me your resume right now okay that's how i'm gonna do i'm gonna focus probably on what i see the first two or three lines but you want to make sure that your resume pops that it stings it has a sting to it so why you need a resume it's a great marketing tool it's a great um it's good to have when you go for an interview a lot of times if you're doing applications now when i was growing up we did most of our rep, uh, applications by paper that means you had to write down all that information but now you and i we do it online we feel like have to type it up on um on the computer and a lot of times a lot of uh employers will if you have a resume if you saved it on your computer you just upload it and that's all you got to do besides putting your name and contact number and that's it you don't have to fill out that lengthy application but sometimes you'll still have to do the application but your resume is on there and they can go back and look at your resume and sometimes it is the requirement of many organizations so uh resume hidden message resume it needs to be neat well organized error free and professional appearance. When you you need to be neat, well uh, organized, attention to detail, careful and competent. Excuse me. So this is what you need to put on your resume, and I'll show you a finished one in a minute. Uh, make sure your name, but he'll help you with that. But you, you guys know your name. You know your address, email address. Now, get into the email address. I know probably the majority of you have an email address. You definitely have a school email address and a lot of you have personal email addresses but what i want you to know uh, and going forth you need to have a separate a business email your business email shouldn't say cat 305 or snoop dog or big daddy it shouldn't say any of that you need to keep it simple so make sure that you have professional email like if your name is kenny you might want to say kenny um Kenny it or Kenny War three five with a, at Gmail. Make sure that your email address is professional. Um, all this, you know, all this stuff we don't want to. Some stuff that people use for their email address is kind of inappropriate because you want to make sure. Yeah, you can still have your personal email. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're dealing with applying for a job or whatever you want a professional email address make sure you have a telephone number where should contact information go it needs to go at the top but he's gonna help you with all that what we want you to do is okay you see czq student she got a number she got czq student you don't have to put anything about student but make sure you have a professional email and now you can go with uh, gmail 
some people still go with Yahoo. I still have an AOL. You probably never heard of AOL, but I sent my AOL uh, email. Okay. So the purpose is to communicate the type of position you're interested in. He's going to help you with all of that. But what I want y'all guys to do is tell me about your education. Okay. Right now, he said, Well, Ms. Hargrave, I'm only in high school. So you're going to put the name of your school. You're going to say it's Lexington Senior High School, Lexington, in North Carolina, um, include city and state, if not part of the title. Um, name of your degree. Right now, you don't have any degrees, but you're going you're gonna to put the education, Lexington Senior High School, and he'll teach you about that. Me, I have my degree, so I will put my degrees in there. Then if you graduated, I remember always after you graduate from high school, remember that graduation date because you always going to have to put in for application or on your resume. They're going to ask you, when did you graduate? Okay. I know mine was, I want to say mine was May 28th. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the year, but I'm still young. So, and then your GPA, you want to know what your GPA is. But you don't necessarily have to, but you'll want to know what that is, okay? And then, so it says high school information do not include after sophomore year. But he'll teach you all that. Right now, just put education, let's see your high school. I want you to make sure you have your name, have your uh, address written down, have a phone number where somebody can contact you. If you have not created a professional email address, go to Gmail uh and create your email we might do that in just a few minutes because i want to make sure y'all guys have that so he wants you to put down like if you have uh any um like a job if you have a job put down your job the, the job where you work at the title the business name your title if you're a cashier sales associate uh crew chief leader whatever shift crew leader put that Put the date that you started, if you, and if you're still there, if I know that I started with Lexington City Schools August 25th of 03, that's when I started with Lexington Senior High, not Lexington Senior High, but with Lexington City Schools, I'm going to put August 25th, 2003-present. Uh, dash present. That means that I'm still working. But if I know that um, I worked somewhere from 19... 99 into 2003 i put when i began and when i left so make sure you have those dates down so make sure you have the job title dates of employment the company name and he's going to show you about how to list but you want to make sure you list like your education if you have a job if you just have your education make sure you got your name phone number email address and your education if you are if you are like on a soccer team, basketball, football, cheerleader, track, uh, whatever you do, make sure that you list, you know, that what activities that you do if you are a leader or whatever you do, okay? So I want to make sure that you do, if you've had any kind of awards that you've won so far, maybe it was at middle school, list it, or maybe it's currently now, please list that, okay? Any kind of, maybe you want to tell him about a list of clubs. He'll let you know what to eliminate, okay? This, again, this is what a resume looks like. Yours won't be as lengthy because you are just starting out, and that's okay. I want you to use action uh, words, power words, okay? And a resume is very uh, easy. So what I want y'all guys to do, and I know y'all probably say, oh, that's a whole lot. No, it's not. I'm, I'm going to show y'all what I really want y'all to have. Let me look at my chats. Sleep doggy dog, big daddy. I'm kidding, you better not use it. All right. So what I want y'all guys to have is make sure you have your name, you have your address, you have a contact phone number, and you have an email. And then put that you would go to Lexington Senior High School. Um, how many of you on here have a job or working, currently working a job? Somebody give me some chats and say, yes, I I, I have a job. Does anybody on here have a job? No. Okay, you don't have one. That's okay. Maybe and 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 maybe that you you babysit. If any of you have ever babysitted before, put that you 
have a uh, I do names of jobs like okay okay so put that you you have a lawn care business football is a job. football is a job football is a job is day. yes hey hey Tristan you got a job Tristan this is not Tristan who we talking it's this B, this BJ hey BJ how are you what you doing you home are you back yeah I'm back I miss you Miss Harker you look good with that blonde in your hair. Well, thank you. It's, it's going to be white once I, it's going to be white once I, mm. I have to go back, but she's it's supposed to be white. But thank you, BJ. Thank you. So, you who, 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 I, I love you and you, and you be good, okay? I am. All right. Um, Is there anybody that has a job on here? Like, now, Kenny says that he does, okay, he, he mows jobs. Okay, so Kenny, put that you have a lawn care business. Okay, Kenny, have you not thought of a name? For your business, lawn care uh, business is a great business, and don't y'all knock it because I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, by next summer, I'm gonna have my own lawn care business. You'll be like, What now? I can mow a yard, but I'm not gonna mow a yard, I'm gonna have people working that are gonna do that. But if you have a lawn care business, treat it like a business, Kenny. Um, get, get the name of your business if you need some help with getting a name i can help you do that if you need uh, help with getting a logo i can do that so put on there that you uh, lawn care what else if you um um and what other jobs you you might do uh if you're a babysitter lawn care walk dogs whatever it doesn't matter nothing there is not a business that I look down on or a job because it's what you do is what you like to do is how you make money. And there's nothing wrong with making money. People do different things. OK, but I, I need for y'all to get that down. So I am I'm, I'm challenging you. Uh, let me check on something because I can't remember if we were going to have. I want y'all to get it together because I wasn't sure. I'm supposed to do um, a presentation with the university, and I'm gonna have to get with them to see if they, what time they're gonna do it. But I want y'all guys to have your information, have it all ready tomorrow. So your name, address, telephone number, email. Excuse me. Put you go to Lexington Senior High School if you have a job. Put your work experiences or your work skills. Maybe like he told you, you like to babysit, you like to mow yards. Put that down. I need y'all to write it up. Type it up and tell me, send it to me. Say resume information. You're going to title it resume information. Um, Jacob, you say you play football. Okay, Jacob, what is your position in football? You're going to title this resume information. And I want you to put your name. Send it to my email address. Um, guys, so remember, I, I need y'all to get this done. I want it done. So ready? We're going to shoot for tomorrow, but it'll probably be Monday, Tuesday of next week before he can meet with y'all. It's going to be, he's going to do so, so many at a time, and it may be he has to do it a couple of times, but I want y'all to have a professional resume, okay? So there's nothing wrong with y'all having a resume. So, now get that done. What else did I say? I was going to talk with y'all guys to show y'all something. Um, let me go back. Let me see. Give me a moment. Let's see what we're going to go over. Okay. For today, I wanted you guys. Okay. You guys were supposed to own yesterday. Um, for those of you who hadn't been here, and that's okay. I want y'all to go starting on Monday. I need y'all to go back. Look at the email, the, the PowerPoint on email and memos. Uh, who can tell me uh, what memo stands for? Memorandum. Memorandum. And we usually use memo. And memo, uh, what are the headings that you use for a memo? To, from, date. Starts with an S. Subject. Subject, awesome, awesome, awesome. So what I want y'all guys to do, let me show you my screen. And at any time, if y'all don't understand something or need some additional help, y'all just email me and say, Ms. Harry, I'm not understanding, I don't get it. That's why I'm here. So I don't want y'all saying, I don't understand, I can't get it. Okay, that's that's cool. 
But that's what I'm here for. You need to contact me and let me know what's going on. Because we're not going to use it as an excuse to fall behind. That's a no-no. We're not going to do that. So I want y'all to make sure that you go back over beginning on 928. Look at the, it's like a six, seven slide maybe, on memo and email. It tells you about memo and email, what you are to do. Then you need to do, I want you to look at the business um, uh, memorandum, which is a memo. It tells you about it, gives you some more information. Also, it shows you what a memo looks like. It's very short. Memo is very short. Then um, I also want you to look at, if you have not done discussion 12, you need to do discussion 12. So what I want, that's 928. Make sure you do that. Then you had an assignment. Y'all were supposed to turn in today, but I'm going to give you to tomorrow. Because How many of you have done this assignment? Be honest. Um, put it in the chat. How many of y'all have done that? How many of y'all did that email and memo assignment? If you haven't, in the email, in the chat, say, I have not done it. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Okay, guys. Uh, what I want y'all to do. <laughs> You get there. Uh, what I want y'all to understand is when I give you assignment, do your best to complete that assignment and have it ready by the date that I give you. I know we have things coming up and we're still getting this uh, canvas and sometimes our internet doesn't work, but I still need y'all to come through when I ask you to come through because I want you to, to be able to uh, meet deadlines because when you go to college, you don't have that work ready. When that professor said you had that work ready, or you already done messed up. Or when you go to your job and your boss said this needs to be in, he gives it to you today, he might tell you it needs to be done by this evening. You're going to have that done or you're not going to have a job. You guys are going to have to start stepping up, stepping up to the plate, being on time, being ready. When I give you assignments, I need them done. If something comes up, all you gotta do is let me know if something came up or, or whatever. I'm I'm a very understanding person, but I still want you to get your work done. Okay, uh Kenny, you can do that on a doc, Google Docs. All you should, um, if you downloaded that link, I want y'all to start learning how to use Word. There's nothing wrong if you go to Google Docs, use Google Docs. But I want you to Google Word is just like Google Docs, but it's an upgraded version. I want y'all to make sure that you're, um, if you haven't downloaded that link, you need to go in announcements and it says Office 365 link, download that link. So you guys need to make sure that you, um, this, this assignment needs to be done. So look at it. It tells you what I asked y'all to do was create a memo. And then the memo was going to be on proper telephone etiquette. All you got to do is read it. You can pick pick five of these of what you want to put in your memo and tell your employees how you expect them to answer the phone at, at, your, at work, okay? Then number two, you guys were to send me an email. You need to learn how to send a professional email. Send me an email describing your thoughts about this assignment right here. You send me an email, okay? So, if you have not done 928's work, I want you to go back and do it. If you still work, and I'm going I'm to give y'all, I'm going to tell you how nice I am. The only thing I'm not going to give you extra time on, I want my, um, I want the resume stuff done tomorrow. I'm going to give you, you guys have until today is Wednesday, and I'm over lenient. The only thing I'm not going to give you extra time on, I want my, um, each day, I want my discussions done. My discussions, along with the attendance quiz, should be done every day. So my discussions, I want done. So that if you hadn't done Monday, you need to go back. Tuesday, I did not give you one. I don't think I did. Yes, I did. I didn't call it a discussion, though. But, uh, let me look at Tuesday was this one right here. Let me... I, uh, let me see if I can, I, but anyway, y'all know Tuesday. Tuesday says 9.30. So that one, I won't, uh, not Tuesday. 
Tuesday. I didn't get one Tuesday. This was Wednesday, which we're on. So y'all need to be doing that for today. Thursday, we have not gotten to. I'm going to give you for the memo, the email, to the, uh, the memo and the email assignment. Uh, we ain't got to complaint letters. We have to scale that back. Complaint letters, we may have to we'll cover it tomorrow. We'll cover it next week. So let me go back over so y'all don't be confused on what I want y'all to do. So begin on Monday. I want y'all to look at the uh, PowerPoint. It's not going to take you but a couple minutes. So you'll be familiar with looking at the PowerPoint. Then I want you to look at this right here. Just some more information. I want you to complete discussion 12 if you have not completed it. Because I feel some, the reason I'm going back over this is because I feel some of y'all don't have a complete understanding or you just have not done it. And I want to make sure that I'm leading you in the right direction. But as I'm leading you in that right direction, you've got, you've got, to, be, you've got to work with me. I'm not going to sit here and pour my heart out and y'all guys still don't do the work. I expect for y'all to step up, and the time is now. After this week, when I give you a assignment, you don't do it. I'm moving on. I'm going to put the zero in. Keep it moving. Y'all, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, what should we do if we completed all the work? Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to come back to the end of minute. You remind me if I don't address it before you leave. Okay, so I want to make sure on 928, I want, if you have not, look at that PowerPoint. I want you to read 102 Business Memorandum. I want you to do discussion 12 if you have not done it. Then I want you to do the assignment. This assignment, I'm going to be so nice. If this assignment is not turned in Sunday by 10 o'clock, on Monday when I get in, you will have a zero. So I'm giving you until Sunday. You better go back and you better make sure it's tight. You better make sure this is, is a great assignment that you've done your best work. I'm not playing. Then on Tuesday, we business letters. I don't think we had a chance to go. We, so I'm going to Tuesday. Don't worry about Tuesday. We're going to go over Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday, 9 30, 20. I want you, to, which is today, to do that discussion. I don't think I do is do that discussion. So really, you do the discussion for today. What a attendance quiz is that? The, the attendance quiz will always be in quizzes. And it'll be today to say attendance quiz, 9 30. Look in quizzes. And it'll always be whatever date that we're on. So Monday, I want you to look at the PowerPoint, look at this, do discussion, do that assignment. It's due Sunday. And then Wednesday, which is today, only do that discussion. That's the only thing you got to do. If, if we don't have that presentation tomorrow, I will cover business letters and writing a complaint letter. So we're going to have to, I'm going to have to scale some stuff back. Okay. Uh, so make sure that you are doing that. Uh, let me see what this guy says. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to have to get, and I will, what I'll do is I'll send y'all guys a remind. I'll send you a remind. And also, I'll probably put an announcement might send you an email. I, I have to let you know, if, if we do presentations, what I ask y'all guys to do, Make sure that you're here on time tomorrow. If we have a uh, presenter, you are to listen to the presenter. You are to make sure that your microphones are on mute, that your cameras are off. You don't ask any questions until the end of the presentation. Don't ask any questions unless they, uh, until they open the floor, until they ask you, to, are there any questions? And then you put them in the chat. If you put something in the chat, make sure it's appropriate. Don't come on here acting crazy. You know, when we're in class, it's different. I still want you to act appropriate. But y'all know that we have a little bit more fun. Uh, but don't come asking crazy crazy questions. If we have a I can't remember if they're supposed to come first or second period. I hope they come second as well. So um, make sure to come on. Once you come on, just make sure you're on mute. If you want to say, hey, Miss Hargrave, good morning, put it in the chat, okay? Um, but make sure if you're un still confused about what you're supposed to do, just email me and we will get together on it, okay? Um, Adriana, you had a question about if you've already finished the work, then you're good. 
You are good to go. There's nothing else for you to do. Resumes, I want my resume information. Resume information has to be to me tomorrow. To so send to Yes, ma'am. Okay. Send it. Um, if you want to put it in your folders that I provided, put it in your folders and send me an email. So Miss Hargrave, check the folders for my resume stuff. Okay. I'm gonna let y'all go. I will see y'all guys on tomorrow. Love you. Have a great remainder of the day. Bye, y'all. Later, Kenny. Bye bye. Bye, Andrea. Thank you.